Hey there, this video, we're going to talk about your website blog, why you should have one, how to add it, and what are some uh, specific optimizations you can make with regard to SEO. All right, so let's dive right in. Uh, blogging has been around forever. We're not going to talk about the history, but we will touch on just a few reasons why you want to blog on your website. All right, before we get into that, keep in mind uh, our philosophy when it comes to web design, but all things website strategy. And that's presence with a purpose. What's the purpose of the website and all of its components? And what do those pieces need to do to support your business? If, if something is on your site without a purpose and it's not helping your business, why is it there? Or Okay, so let's, uh, let, let's talk a bit about why you would want to add a blog. So top of everyone's mind, you probably all know this, and it's probably why you're here, SEO. You want traffic to your site. You've heard that a blog is a great way to do that. So that's a great reason. And it's valid. There are a lot of, uh, let's say, requirements to a blog to actually establish it as an authority and gain rankings and traffic. But ultimately, it comes down to putting eyeballs on your website. And a blog is a great way of doing that. So SEO and traffic, they're kind of number one and two and tied together. Number three, I mentioned it, but that's authority. How do you become an authority in your space? You know, this is the BizLadder blog. We're talking about SEO, e-commerce, website optimization. See a theme here, right? How to do things on Wix. Um, some explanations about Wix. We've got a whole bunch of Wix training videos here. We've got all about running your business, setting up a store. These are all establishing that we know what we're talking about. We've we've done this before. We're, we're not the, the be all end all. We're not the, the best in any one of these. But we have done this we for ourselves and for clients. We understand and we're sharing that knowledge. We're, we'd like to think an authority. We're, we'd, like, we'd like to think we're an authority on this on this topic and the topics in our blog. So you want to become that authority for your industry, for your audience to look at your website and your blog and say, okay, this business or this person knows what they're talking about. They're an authority. I can, to a degree, trust what they're saying. All right. The other few items or, or maybe reasons for having a blog here are, are some that people don't really tend to think about. Our, our clients certainly don't um, when we bring it up to them. Number one is you actually could reduce your customer service overhead and general administrative overhead. These Wix training videos and, and blog posts that we've put up are direct answers to questions our clients have had. And if one client has them, many more will have the same question as well. So if a client asks us a question and we've made a video on that, we just direct them to our blog or our YouTube channel and they get the answers there. And oftentimes with, with many of our clients, they end up uh, just going to the blog or, or our YouTube channel looking for these answers. So they just know to go to the blog versus contacting us. Don't get me wrong. We love when they contact us, but if the answer is already there and that's where we're going to send them, we'd rather they go there anyway. All right. Uh, the next item up is engage with your audience. We get a lot of uh, feedback from people who've read this blog, clients and, and non-clients alike. And they ask us questions, they ask us for follow-up or, or can you make this next blog or next video or uh, this part isn't quite working for me, can you help me with that? Most of the time, we'll be honest with you, those don't turn into to paid engagements. We're not getting paid for any of that. Sometimes they do. But again, we're just continuing to establish ourselves as an authority in this space. Again, we're not claiming to be, you know, SEM Rush or, or any of the huge uh, players or, or gigantic firms. We're just saying we know what we're talking about in this niche and let's share that information. All right. The last thing is just showing that your lights are on. Okay. The fact that you have blog posts going up regularly, that doesn't have to be daily. Once or twice a month is fine. Once every couple months, even if, if it's a hobby or a side business or, or a niche industry, just show that you're there and, and you're posting relevant, timely, uh, content to the website. All right. So that's a little bit about why you'd want to blog. Let's, let's jump into more, more details on, on Wix and, and adding a blog and some of the optimizations to make. So how do you add a blog? Good news. This is really simple. We've got a, a very basic template that we just pulled out of the, the Wix gallery, the Wix library. And we're going to simply go over here and blog. Oops, blog, and there's your button. Add the site. Now, if you're on Wix ADI, which is being deprecated as we speak, this is going to be a little different. 
editor X will be slightly different, but it's basically the same thing. Go over here to add elements, find blog, and then just click add to site. And this will buzz and whir and take a couple seconds here. All right, doing what it needs to do, but this is gonna add all the pieces of your blog that you're going to need. All right, you can see it's created um, this area over here for Wix blog. You can manage it. There's actually a button right there. I can go to pages and go to my business. That's where that Wix blog is. So this is relatively new. You might not have seen this on your on your Wix menu uh, previously. Or if you have an older site, this might not be there as well. Um, but all the new sites have this My Business area and the Wix blog, and you can manage it here. You can also see in pages, we've got site menu and our blog pages now. All right, so that's it. There's a blog on your site now. They've added some, some sample uh, placeholder content there for you. But that's it. It's as simple as that to add a blog to Wix. All right. Um, let's talk briefly about sitemaps. This is a little bit technical when it comes to SEO, but you've added a blog now. You've added these pages. Do we need to tell Google that these pages exist? The short answer is no, not really. Your sitemap is now updated. Um, in fact, if you go to bizladder.com slash sitemap.xml, you'll see it has all these different sub sitemaps and blog posts is in there. So Wix is taking care of this for you. You don't need to worry about it. Getting those pages, blog pages ranked by Google and generating traffic is a different story, but the sitemap is updated. You don't have to worry about that. All right, so what options are available when it comes to SEO? Well, you can go over here to the basics, right? And over here you can change uh, layout, permissions, if, if you wanna block it for some reason. And then you can see the, the post title here and you can see it has a default, right? You can actually change this inside the editor itself. We're gonna go to that in just a minute. And the general blog page has a few more SEO options. You can change the URL slug. You definitely wanna change the meta title and the meta description. You definitely want it indexed by Google, of course. And if you wanna get into more advanced with structured data markup, you can do that, but that's not gonna happen in this video. We'll, we'll talk about that in a separate video. All right, so how do we change the actual, let's go to post. SEO, it says, oh, go to the post editor. Where is that? Well, let's go to the dashboard. You could do this from within my business as well. Create posts, manage blog, manage pages, all that good stuff. We just like working from the dashboard itself. Uh, editor can tend to bog down a machine at times. Um, and the dashboard is just a little faster for us. So you can go to your blog page. Go to overview, it'll show you a little, obviously, overview of it. Last published, it's probably most important. Then you go to posts, publish, draft, schedule. That's really important. You can write a whole bunch of blog posts one weekend and then just schedule them out for the next you know, six months if you want. We're gonna go into one of these placeholder blog posts. And you can see we've got two areas over here, settings and SEO. Settings, all right, cover image actually is important. Who wrote it? If it's a featured boat, uh, blog post, excuse me and a description and then related posts and then of course commenting but as far as seo goes the description and the yeah, and then the cover image are probably going to be most important there seo so this is going to default to the title right so url slug excuse me not title url slug that's what appears up here blog that's the url slug your title tag that's what appears up here when you put your mouse over the small business website tips, right? And your description, and then of course, let the search engines index it, which you'll want to default on. This website is not set to be indexed because it's just brand new and it has nothing in it, but um, you can certainly, uh, you certainly want to have it indexed by by, by search, search engines, of course. Okay, so those are uh, general post-specific SEO tips. You can change it post by post. It's gonna to default to the title, whatever you put up here. It's gonna be here in the title tag. And then the first paragraph here will show up in the meta description, but you can adjust that. And we recommend that you do adjust those. All right, so let's talk a little bit about an RSS feed. We're not gonna get into what it is or why you need it. If you know what an RSS feed is or you've been told that you need it, all right, there, there are ways to, to certainly do that 
uh, inside of Wix. So you want to go back over to your blog page itself. Let's get rid of that. All right, we're going to go to plus, find the blog again, and RSS button. There's a few different ones. You can pick one, you can just drag it over here, and then you can format it. Really that simple. You now have an RSS feed that people can then add to their websites or readers and uh, pull in your blog posts. So super simple, right? All right, so that's RSS feed. How do we add a blog to your menu? Well, if you notice when I added the blog to the website, it automatically added it to the menu. If it didn't, for some reason, you can just manage the menu. You come over here and it, maybe it's hidden. See how it disappears? You can go show. Now, in some cases, depending on the template you're using, the version of Wix you're on, this menu may be disconnected from your pages. And you may actually get a little pop-up here that set that has the list of the pages that are being displayed in your menu. The concept is the same. You just add a page to it and then select connect that navigation menu item to a specific page but you're always going to go to the menu itself and just click manage menu that's the easiest way to get to the right spot it'll take you wherever you need to go all right so let's talk a little bit about google seeing your blog you've added a blog you've written a lot of great content it's it's uh, in the sitemap automatically it's on your website maybe people have added it to their rss reader uh how do you how do you make sure that Google is seeing it. Well, in short, you can never force Google to see your website or your blog, but you can check on it, all right? The easiest way to do it is to use the site command. You can see I've got site colon ESPN.com just because they have lots of pages. And in fact, they do 11 million pages. I doubt anybody watching this video will have 11 million pages, but if you do, great. Uh, tell us how you did it. Um, and then, um, you can see they've got tons of pages indexed there. So you can also go, uh, blog. I don't think there's good. Oh yeah, there is. Okay. So you can see now we're just seeing, uh, ESPN.com backslash blog. These are just the blog posts for ESPN, 700,000 of them. Must be nice. Um, that's the easiest way, right? Just site colon your URL without the WW or HTTPS and then .com or whatever it is, or your domain, right? And then you can add qualifiers to it like backslash blog. All right, that's the easiest way. You want a more in-depth way to understand what Google thinks about your site? Use the search console. Just go to Google, type in Google search console and click there. I'm not gonna do it because we have some client data in there that we don't wanna display in the videos, but um, you'll log in, you'll be asked to connect it to your website this is a little bit off topic, but let's let's talk about um, how you add that to your site. Wix will do that automatically for you if you go to marketing and SEO, SEO, and then get started with here or connect to Google here. I'd be careful about doing it this way. Um, there are some automated steps that yes, make it very easy for you to, to uh, somewhat optimize your SEO and connect to Google Search Console, but it ends up being just an average um, SEO optimization. It's better than nothing, don't get me wrong, but it's not exactly cream of the crop in terms of SEO optimizations. For that, you wanna do things a little bit more manually or hire out uh, us or anybody else to, to, to do this for you. To set up Google Search Console, we actually set up Google Tag Manager and a number of other event managers to, to kind of track what's happening on the website. But if you're looking for the quick and easy way to get a moderately okay op SEO optimization, head on over to SEO in your dashboard, get started or connect to Google. That'll bring up Google Search Console and back to the original point here, that'll let you see if Google can find your blog posts. All right, so that's it. If you have any questions, please reach out.